Hey, welcome to my channel. And what you see before you is on, I guess, two thirds of the way through an install on a steam boiler, mega steam to be precise. Give you the rating plate there. And you see my other videos on the mega steam. This is our uh, offset that we install to allow the um, blowdown. The site glass isn't there yet. Um, that's probably going to be installed tomorrow. If you really didn't want to go through this but still wanted to put a drain on there and you could open the door on this side, you could cut this lug off here and you might be able to achieve the same thing. Um, However, if the, you want the hinge on this side, uh, then uh, the offset's going to be the way to go. This is the uh, Beckett that's, that is bespoke for this boiler. Um, and has a flexible fuel line so that uh, can open up the, uh, the door. There's the filter there, and there's the original line. And uh, we've strapped to do some Kendorf along with RVXT. Now, see, this is where we're going to tie in the water uh, the next time you see this video. We've got a uh, shutoff valve here um, for isolating the VXT. It's a VXT 120. And some of the astute of you may notice that the it's reversed. Um, this is not one of their new reversible ones. We happen to have this 120 volt unit uh, old style in stock. So we re reversed it the old fashioned way. And we took advantage of the Kendorf to also allow the positioning of the VXT for servicing. And here we are. Let's see, there's the electrical service switch installed by Frank today and the uh, power for the, the VXT also. This one comes with the cycle guard, the low water cutoff, and this is the um, inner workings of the uh, relay. So a lot of the um, plug and play stuff goes in here. There's a quick disconnect here for the for the boiler and all the uh, high voltage some low voltage wiring goes in this handy box right there. Now this is the drop header configuration which um, is spelled out by their piping kit. Um, so you have installation instructions. You can buy a piping kit and there's a schedule. There's a lot of sort of bespoke uh, nipples that are cut to very precise lengths. Uh, the only issue that we have on that one is it comes out with a three inch T and we like to tie our um, stuff directly to the header and so once you get to that point then from there on in you're pretty much on your own. <laughs> Um, and we sort of make modifications from there. Thank you for what we had to do here earlier was actually cut the pipe and um, we just put a coupling on there and we got it pitched very nicely that way and this pipe is now pitched that way in parallel flow. Let me show you the pipe that we cut off. Threads were in eh not very good shape but the beautiful thing about this and what really is so nice about steam systems uh, a lot of the times this this pipe here as best we can figure is probably is over 100 years old maybe as much as 120 perhaps even 130 years old this may and it's in great shape so most of the piping above stuff there. Most of the piping above the water line is 
in wonderful shape. So if you, let me see if we get a close up there, the um, original return, as you can see, was there, and that uh, rotted out, and they put in this. The issue here is going to be a dimension. Boiler's water line is here, and that's a dry return just barely so we don't have a whole lot of a dimension so we've we've put this on the rack and it will our little test rig as you've seen in other videos and this uh, tops we can get this down to a uh, pound and a half and uh, that may not be low enough though we'll have to see we've added our 270 pigtail which we believe doesn't uh, clog we've added our male T to allow uh, testing so we just basically remove this plug and blow in there to check and there's the uh, all but useless 30 pound gauge with its um, clog of magnet uh, internal siphon so we've got this up on four inch block um, I don't know why they have that coil there they should probably do away with that um, this gasket here, EPDM gasket, ethylene propylene diene monomer, gets old and, and tends to crack. So let's take a look at this return. There is, um, that's what's called out in the piping kit. So pretty much the piping kit, we, we, we use that, that's the Harford loop. They use a Y fitting and um, I transition um, from the copper uh, to brass, to galvanized. Um, so this shouldn't be. Too, this should, it should be. The rust should be controllable. And this is the existing um, wet return. It was full of sand, and uh, we cut it to be able to roll this thing in. This is, as I said, 800 pounds and um, over 800 pounds, and the um, the owners work like. Trojans to get this get this thing in. Um, we, we had a uh, power cart, and that thing was barely adequate to get down the stairs. It was a uh, it was something something I really don't want to repeat too often. Anyway, we've got a um, inch and a half by one T, uh, inch and a half female adapter. That's a stainless steel bushing and a full port uh, ball valve for uh, draining and flushing. And you can remove that and really get it clean. Comes back with the one inch, um, and uh, there's our uh, shutoff valve for no return flush. There's the full port drain in the front. Um, Burnham supplies these. Uh, they're just basically 90s, oddly shaped 90s. I like putting um, the flow in like this because then it's dissipated and it doesn't go up into the boiler or up out of the system and uh, that seems to work for me and also this allows for better flexibility as the uh, unit moves. Um, there's the back and I'm going to put the uh, back flow right in there and bring the pipe here and come down and tie into this CPVC stuff using a shark bite fitting. fitting. Um, this is the reline flue and the flue pipe is going to go here and down into here. The barometric is probably going to be somewhere around here. This is going to be last because uh, this pretty much closes off this space there. Uh, we also Took advantage of the. There's normally an inch and a quarter plug here, so we got an inch and a quarter, and we got an eccentric um, coupling and a full port ball valve, so we can really flush any debris out of here that we need to. So I think that wraps it up. Uh, sort of the mid 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 cycle here. 
Again, I want to thank you all for your support, your questions. I hope this is uh, helpful. Um, and uh, I'll see you later. Take care.